Did you know that you can play full-fledged Xbox games on your Android smartphone? I'll show you how. There are a few companies taking a stab at cloud gaming, which I think could very well be the future of gaming. Namely, Google with Stadia, NVIDIA with GeForce Now, and recently Amazon announced Project Luna. And of course, Microsoft has Xbox Cloud Gaming, which is what this video is about. I had first seen a demo of what was called Project X Cloud back at E3 2019, and then followed the progression of the service for a while. And even though it's technically still in beta, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to start playing AAA Xbox titles on your smartphone. And no, I'll tell you this right off the bat, the service is not available on iOS yet. Microsoft is reportedly working on a web-based version of the service to circumvent Apple's App Store rules, and we'll see how this plays out. All right, so here's what you need. An Android device running 6.0 or later. I'm using a Samsung S25G on Android 11. You'll need a subscription to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which you can actually get for a dollar for the first three months, and then it's $15 a month after. Included in Game Pass Ultimate is access to cloud gaming. I'm gonna assume that most of you probably know what Xbox Game Pass is. It's like Netflix, but for streaming Xbox games. You'll also need an internet connection that's acceptable in 20. 2021. Microsoft suggests a Wi-Fi connection using a 5 gigahertz channel or mobile data with at least 10 megabits per second down. My Wi-Fi here in the studio is gigabit and this S25 G is on 5G. And lastly, you'll need a controller. I'm using an Xbox One controller, but oddly enough, you can use a DualShock 4 controller as well as a handful of third-party ones. Before we jump into the Xbox Game Pass app itself and play some games, we have a message from today's video sponsor, Otterbox. Otterbox, you know, the company known for its super durable and reliable phone cases, just introduced a handful of mobile gaming accessories designed for Xbox. Included in this lineup is just about everything you need to take your setup to the next level. Let's go through them all. Let's start with the privacy screen protector for the iPhone. It doubles as a glass covering to prevent scratches and abrasions and provides you with privacy from onlookers. I've got it installed on an iPhone 12 Pro and you can see how well it works. The iPhone 12 Pro has OtterBox's new Easy Grip gaming case. It's grippy as the name suggests and will provide you that OtterBox protection in the event of a drop. It's even got this sort of dotted texture on the back for extra anti-slippage. OtterBox now makes a hard shell for Xbox controllers. There's a few colors to choose from and the shell just snaps onto the controller. There are interchangeable grips as well. I prefer this one. Grips like this help you when you're in the zone and your hands are sweaty and you're constantly wiping your hands on your pants. Gamers know what I mean. Up next is a carrying case for your Xbox controller. The case has a hard shell, an opening around the back to slip a cable through for charging. These little pockets for things like your cables, as well as a makeshift collapsible phone stand, meaning you can prop up the phone on top of the case and game like so. I sort of saved the best for last, the mobile gaming clip. I've actually been looking for something like this for a while, and OtterBox thought of everything. The clip snaps onto the controller easily, and it's firmly on there. Your phone goes in the spring-loaded holster, and you can adjust the viewing angle to your liking. There's a plastic latch on the back to adjust the phone even further, and the clip can actually be removed from the holster and placed on a desk in what I call desk mode. All of these accessories can be pre-ordered starting January 25th and will ship in February. Check the link in the description to learn more and thanks to Otterbox for sponsoring today's video and sending over this gear for me to show you. Okay, let's take a look at the Game Pass app and I'll show you how it works. First, make sure the controller is paired to your phone over Bluetooth. Then open the Game Pass app. This is the home view. You'll notice three tabs, cloud, console, and PC. So Xbox Game Pass is available on Xbox and PC, and because we're using a phone in this video, I'll browse within the cloud tab. All of these games are playable via the cloud right on my phone. There's a few categories of games as I scroll through, and when I get to the bottom, I've got the all game section, and there's a lot to pick from. Let's launch Injustice 2. You tap play game, and it kind of just loads. I'll say this though, it doesn't load instantaneously. You're presented with this rocket loading screen and notice they put the word beta front and center, reminding you that this product is not yet finished. This took about 20 seconds to load and then you get this data sync screen, but once it loads, it is the full game. I'm playing the full Injustice 2 right on this phone, streaming from the cloud. Pretty epic. The game didn't download to the phone or install anything. I played around in Forza as well, and this game looks incredible. I'm pretty sure it's pulling a full 1080p stream. 
The graphics look really good, especially on a phone this size. I also wanted to show you one of my favorite games of all time, Halo 3 and the Master Chief Collection. What's cool is that Game Pass Ultimate includes Xbox Live Gold, so I can play Halo 3 multiplayer online on my phone. If you would have told me five years ago that this was a thing, I wouldn't have believed you. I still almost can't believe that it's real even today. The game runs pretty smoothly overall, though loading times were long, and I did find the game to stutter or freeze a bit, but I kind of expected that considering I'm playing a competitive match online that's streaming from the cloud in real time. As far as the gaming library goes, you've got titles like Sea of Thieves, PUBG, The Sims 4, Madden 20, Gears 5, DayZ, and Destiny 2, just to name a few. I think this trend of cloud gaming is just the beginning. As our phones get better and faster and internet speeds increase in bandwidth, it kind of just makes sense that gaming is heading in this direction. Like you don't expect to sit there and wait for whatever movie or TV show you're watching on Netflix to download to your device, right? You just click play and it streams. And I think that logic should and is already being applied to gaming. For now, Xbox cloud gaming is still in beta and we'll have to see what happens on iOS. I think it's an awesome first look at what the future of gaming could look like and it has me excited. Personally though, I'm sticking to gaming on my main gear with my mouse and keyboard. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.